All right, today's work is going to get super, 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 super simple. Okay? You guys were in second, third grade, fourth grade. You did addition and subtraction. That's what this is. Now, the only difference between the addition and subtraction you did there was that you did it with smaller numbers. And if you've noticed, we've gone from millions that you learned last year to billions that you're learning this year. I need pencils down and I need you paying attention. Okay? This is not going to take long. And I shouldn't have to do too many problems. Because what you are actually doing is you're adding and subtracting. This is one that they have in the book, the first one, 16 point nine. That's all that it is. There's no rounding, there's no front end, there's no estimating, there's no changing anything. You're just straight addition. Five and three is eight, or five and three is eight plus four, is 12 plus 9 is 21. Carry the 2 up. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 0 is 3, plus 6 is 9, plus 2 is 11. One down, one up. Then I've got 8 and 1 is 9, plus 7 is 16, right? Plus 8 is 24, plus 6, 30. Put the 0 down, carry the 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All you're doing is you're adding. You may have to carry numbers up, but that's all that you're doing. Regrouping as it needed. Now, if you have subtraction, it's just plain subtraction. Yes, you may have to regroup because at the beginning you can't take nine from three, but there's nothing next door. So you gotta come all the way over to the seven. Take one from there, leaves you a six. You're gonna bring 10 over here, but one of those is going next door, so it's gonna leave you with nine. And that 10 that you're bringing over now makes that 13. Now that all the regrouping is done, it's just straight subtraction, okay? Um, you end up with 13 minus nine is four, 9 minus 2 is 7, 6 from 6 is 0, 1 from 1 is 0, and so your answer is 74. Now, this part today, Cece, this part today, you are writing the problems down. You're doing all of your work in your composition book. Yes, okay? You are writing the work down and doing it in your book. In your composition book, you are doing everything from your hardcover book. You're copying the problems in here on 1-7 to that, okay? In your... In your workbook, you're just doing the work in there. You may end up writing, moving, because if they have them written out, 1703 minus 1629, Andrew, they have them written out in your workbook like that, you may end up just bringing it over and putting it underneath and subtracting it. 
you've got all that work that you know room in there but I know that there are some where they write them across just bring the one number underneath make sure that you line up all of your place values so that when you're subtracting you're subtracting ones from ones tens from tens hundreds from hundreds thousands from thousands now today you do have let's see one oh you've got some that go up to um, millions that you'll be doing now you have all day these problems are not that hard okay if you're gonna sit and complain about them you're wasting your time if you sit down and do the work you're gonna find out that they go pretty quickly okay so take your time with them watch out when you run into see number 18 this is in your book This is the last problem I want to go over with you. CC, I need you paying attention. Okay? This is the last one I'm going over. Harper, watch. This is in your book. Okay? This is where they talk about simplifying the expression. Why is this an expression, Luke? Because it has no answer. There's no equal sign at the end. There's no answer to it. When they tell you to simplify it, they're asking you to find the answer. Okay, now, first thing, you got an addition sign here and a subtraction sign there. Let's add first, and this is the way the problem's written out. Okay, you gotta watch out because this is 84,000. 84,000 is gonna set right in there. And 257. Now, if I take that and I add it, I wind it up so that I have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands. There are no hundred thousands and millions in this number, but I've lined up what I have. Now I go through and add. Okay, what's the next step? Subtract, subtract. Subtract, Christian. I'm gonna subtract this. I gotta make sure I line up everything. This is millions, this is millions. So I put the two. Oh boy. Does anybody see what's gonna happen? Oh, you're going to have to regroup, and then you won't have any room up at the top. Yep. So let's regroup. No. You can still fit it in. One from one, zero. Seven minus one, six. Nine minus eight. I got to come over here, take one. I'm going to leave you with two. That's going to make that 18. Nine. Two from zero is two, one, three, six. Okay, this problem, and it is 17 through 20. This was actually number 18. You have both addition and subtraction in it, okay? 
the most important part is making sure that you line up all the decimals or not the decimals the place values okay if you need okay and you don't want to do it in your composition book get a piece of graph paper and that will help you in lining up everything okay it's another option for you but make sure that you line it up once you have them lined up then you're back to your second third fourth grade skills of adding or subtracting okay and the only problem that I see that you make here is you don't write the problem down right or you make a simple mistake in subtracting or adding, forgetting to carry something. Take your time going through it. Just get it right. Christian? Um, so on the comp in the composition book, do you have to show our work? Yes. You're showing everything that you're doing from pages 16, 17, 1 to 26. Well, really, 1 to 20, 1 to 20. I want written down. The, after that, you're getting into word problems. Okay? And you can write down the word problems. Not the words, but yeah. the problem that comes from it. Can you subtract the first four there? Or do you just leave it so I can use your table to do the problems on the graph paper? And have that piece of paper in your composition book. Okay? That's, that's an easier way. It's a solution to help you line up things if you want to. And I think I have some graph paper over there. Yes, Cece? So we're doing all of them, right? All You're doing all of them, one to 26. You're adding and subtracting. Huh? All right, let's get to work.